since we keep losing our needles all the time, we thought that we'd do a little case for them, inspired by some things that we found in the Mayhagen Museum in Lillehammer. So for uh, our little uh, project of today, the little uh, stitch case for needles, uh, what you need is some uh, canvas. Fellas. Oh yeah, okay. Start with canvas. You need canvas. canvas. You need to go get some felt. Uh, this is a horrible color, but it will do it the job. Works. It will look it good will when look it's finished. Good. So <laughs> if you hope. can get other colors, go ahead. But yeah. this is what we've got. Uh, we need yarn or embroidery yarn. Uh, this is a great one from Anchor that we've got in uh, many different colors. So we need that. Uh, um, we need some needles. Needles I guess. and sewing thread and this ma this what do you call this pa masking tape. Masking tape is nice. I will show you later why. Mm -hmm. So, what's in there? Maybe stash. Oh, oh just okay. buttons, pearls. We don't need that. <laughs> okay, so we start and we're making the. I'm making this one mm -hmm. and I marked on the canvas uh, the areas which I'm going to embroider. So then you cut out what you need and I keep uh, space for like four stitches outside because this is going to be folded in. Mm. So we just cut along the, the lines in the fabric. So one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. And it's easy when you have a canvas like this, you can actually just follow the line and cut it very straight. And now I just put on the black thread to show where the embroidery is going to be. But when I do it like for myself, I don't use this thread, but this way you can see, mm. this is the area where you make the embroidery. And the embroidery is going to be in a cross stitch. Yes. And the design is kind of Norwegian looking. It could be very Norwegian, but it's actually something you just came up with when you were doing it. I just started it. to make embroidery mm. on the outlines and then it became like the this. pattern came by itself. Yeah, I think there's so, some uh, lilies, some yeah. French lilies, and then there's a cross in the middle, and just some outlines of uh, very nice design anyway. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. So, i should show you when you start the embroidery, you need to split the yarn, because this yarn has six threads, but you need three, because it's too thick if you use the whole thing. So there you see you have these three and these three. Mm. So you split it. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> then I do the embroidery. So now I fold down the edge of the mm -hmm. booklet and I just to find the, find corner. the corner and then I put the corner down like this, like an envelope, like that. And then you fold the sides, the sides mm -hmm. over. And then I just hold it like this in my finger and I start sewing. And when you do the cross stitch, you should try to uh, make the stitch go the same way all the time. Mm. It's not easy to remember maybe, but We try. Okay, so. So now you can do one line where the yarn is pointing in one direction. 
now this hold the edge, the edge down. down yeah. And this I will the this I will um, attach later. So it goes like this. But I'm not going to finish the hole on camera because that takes forever. And then you go back. Crossing them, right? Yeah. If you think it's really hard to hold this without any stitching, then you can always stitch it first. Yeah, stitch the edge down. But that's kind of like double work when you can actually just do it once. You can hold it. You can try anyway. Oh. So now I just continue like this all the way around. And follow the pattern. And follow the pattern. And on the front and the back, you have 40 stitches for the, for the pattern, and then you have five stitches in the back. Mm. So Arne has now embroidered, finished embroidering the stitch case, or what's going to be the stitch case, using the chart that you can find on our website. Mm. And then we need to line it with the felt. So we've got the lovely orangey felt here. <laughs> The best color. The best color. And we need to just get the size right. So, so put it on like this. And what you do is you put it, uh, edge, you edge it like that. And then I use the masking tape because I don't want to cut the canvas. So I use the masking tape and I outline the, the, canvas. the canvas. Very easy. You put the tape around like that and but anyway you might have to cut a little bit when you start to sew it because when you fold it it can move yeah but now we have the the outline of the the outline and then we just cut it well actually i have a piece here okay so we use that piece i was faster than you <laughs> okay you put the felt on the back of the embroidery and then you do this um, punkt thing, it's called in Norwegian. Yeah, these like stitches, invisible stitches, invisible kind, of, stitches. kind of invisible. And you stitch it all by hand going around the, um, the edge of the canvas and the felt. So Why if I can you? get this through the hole, I will show you. And I use white thread because the canvas is white and I make the sewing on the outside of the of the what you call the, the first line of cross stitches the line that hold the the canvas down so i go from one stitch to the other on the outside of the stitch and sew through the felt i try to go back almost on the same place and up again and then to the next next hole and up again almost at the same place and this way I just sew it down and then when you use the same color is of course it's not so visible on the front and on the back you get these small points mm. like this little dots of small point. dots but I guess when you used it a lot, this goes away. And it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter, it looks nice anyway. So. And now you see also, it. sometimes the felt can move a little bit. So, well, this is kind of okay, but if it goes too much out, you have to cut it. It won't thread, so you can just cut and cut and shape until you're satisfied with it. And then you make the two pages for the book when this is finished. Okay, cutting, 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 sewing, sewing. Now I can finish this later and we can show how to put the page in the book. Okay, I keep it, keep it like this so far. Okay, so, so this is going to be the page in the little booklet. booklet. So you put this on top. And you see it 
pops out a little bit, but we can cut it this later. Now you s make uh, some stitches in the back of the in booklet. In the center. In the center on this line. And maybe we should do like cross stitches in orange. Mm, that's a good idea. It's not the same orange, but... Make some cross stitches, attach the little page, and then you have a perfect little thing to store all your needles. So you don't have to look for your needles anymore, just the case. <laughs> <laughs> At least you have the needles in one place. So I split the yarn again. So I start in the middle of those five. First cross, so then I'm going down like this and up. So the orange cross stitch in the back will hold the page. So we've done the case, it's, it's done. Uh, we've sewn the, um, the first part of the felt all around, and then we've added a second layer of felt that we have cross-stitched uh, along the, the, the side, so that when you close the little uh, case now, or booklet as we also call it, you've got that there, and it's all nice and yeah. done. So but what we, we need to do now... Now we have to cut. Cut, make it more beautiful. And adapt it. So, and for that you need a really good pair of scissors. Did you see when you fold it, some of the um, the felt is sticking out. Sticking is sticking out. So you fold it like this, and you hold it like that. Don't open it too much, and then you cut. cut. And as I was saying before, the really good thing about this felt is that it won't thread. So you can cut and cut and shape, and it will always remain the same. So you can actually just adapt it all the way. So. Uh, you don't have to be a master sewer to do this, or a cutter, for that matter. Oh. So now... So getting better. And now you just need to trim it. Oh, it's okay. And if you want to get it perfectly, you could also press it with an, with an iron. Put, mm. a, put a towel on top, a dry towel this time, and just press it with a hot iron. That would actually give it a really nice shape as well, wouldn't it? Arne? Yeah, but you don't have to. But you could. But you could. I think it's good now. So, now so the case is done and uh, now, now we're going to be able to locate our needles at all times because I think we're just going to start adding them to mm -hmm. the case. And it's actually very nice when you have all the needles in the booklet. There you go, another one. No, you don't have to look for the needles. You have to look for the booklet. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Thank you. And there you go. Arnes beautiful stitch case for needles. Finished. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. <laughs>